uh, if the uh, Australian people uh, dis decide by through the plebiscite... Those who can be bothered putting well, in a well, form and you know, I, licking I, the stamp and well, sending it through the post. You know what, I, what about so, people that don't use post offices anymore? Of course, to, a, a postal vote. Asking people to send a letter to the government about whether they support someone else's right to get married is going to raise all sorts of concerns for people. OK, I do have a, a friend who is in Gen Y uh, and who did She's have fine. to post something to me not that long ago and they found it extremely confronting. That we know would have low voter turnout, that we know would disenfranchise young people. Postal mm. votes tend to skew older. I'm with the younger generation. Why yeah. do you have to get the envelope and come back? Come on, guys. Just going to do it one step. Out. Sort it out. There's postage right. boxes around the place that you can just stick them in. What about young people? They wouldn't even know how to open a mailbox. What about them? Are you going to have text, text votes? Are you going to have email votes for young people? Whether or not people vote in the plebiscite, I think is that's going to remain to be seen because it's a funny mechanism for people. That's not how most people are used to voting. Well, the consequence may be that we come back with no because only old people no even know what a letterbox is.